Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're talking about how to get the raw therapy, uh, raw photo manipulation post-processing tool working on Linux. So to get this going, you're going to need to go to this website here and all of the links as usual are down below in my article. But uh, you can go to the downloads page here and now they've got a lot of different options. So we've got XP, Mac, and we've got a lot of different Linux support. If you go to, let's say, let's check out Ubuntu, they have PPAs and open build service and stuff. I have generally been using Ubuntu LTS lately. Um, I know that lots of people use different distributions, so we're gonna go with the app image way on the video, but if you want to learn how to get this going for your specific setup, you can always check my article. So to get this started, you're going to need to download the app image and we can get it like so. In the article, I go over the easiest way to do this and that is to just copy the link and set up the app image folder. So you would do it like this. First you would do, open up a terminal, do make dir-p app images. Then you would do cd into the app images folder, do a wget, grab that file and let it download. Once the video is done downloading, once the file is done downloading, excuse me, uh, I don't know why I said video, but once the file is done downloading, uh, you can go and do an ls, then you can do sudo chmod plus x raw, press tab, to autocomplete it, and update the permissions. And then if you do an ls again, you can see that it's now green, which means that we can execute it and start it up. And then we can run raw therapy and it will mount all the files that it needs to mount and it'll run and we have raw therapy. And we can do our post-processing, we can look at our tags and our metadata. And that is how you install the raw therapy photo manipulation tool on Linux. And as uh, you can see here, there's lots of different tools that you can do. There's editing, there's file browsing and queuing. But uh, you can learn more about that in the link in the description below to my article. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Please check out the links as I always say, and I will see you in the next video.